given where you were yesterday. How, how, tell us about the journey to, to get there and how you managed to, to change the car and also, you know, improve things through the rounds in qualifying. Well, I mean, firstly, I, I definitely want to, because we don't get to do it a huge amount, but to acknowledge everyone back at the factory, both factories, because all year long they've just been on the grind, just continuing to push. We've had uh, three difficult years in performance, and no matter what they, no matter how, how hard everyone's worked, we've had this erratic kind of uh, result layout and um, statistics. And so, on my side, qualifying has been a nightmare for a year or so, or, or at least most of this year. And um, it's been something I've really been working on. There's definitely been a lot of uh, work I've had to do mentally to try to just hold on to it and continue to believe. Uh, and then the races have been strong. Most generally through the year they've been relatively decent. I race well, but it makes it so much harder when you don't qualify well. So this weekend, every, as every weekend, coming positive, but the car was a nightmare to drive on MP1. It was we were like a second off. We made massive changes for P2. Still a second off. Great work for the guys in the went, uh, simulator last night. Came with all this optimism. <laughs> For the simulator and then we made these setups with the all positive p3 nightmare 1.2 seconds off and oh god and the mechanics have just been working so hard changing all these bits they don't know what's coming to the next and start qualifying and finally the car just it's just a switch all of a sudden felt the synergy and felt really competitive from that from the get-go uh unfortunate i think for the last lap but I really take it. Yeah. Well, you've had some great qualifying laps around here, but looking ahead to the race, uh, Lando on pole, Max there. Can you race both of them? Do you do you sense what, what kind of what kind of results are, are achievable tomorrow? I really don't know. I think with all the changes we've made, it's difficult to know where we will be balance-wise for the race. But I think the car is in a better place. I hope that we can position it better with Aero tomorrow for for good long-run progress. If we can hold on to these guys, anything can happen at this track, and so um, tire degradation is going to be key. I think the McLaren's too fast, really. They're, with their wing moving and front wing moving, rear wing moving, they're just they're lightning at the moment, and uh, I think that's going to be hard to to beat. But I'll stay hopeful and give it everything. And if you've seen these two at the start of the race and in races, anything that can happen. So I will just try and make sure I'm there for capitalizing whatever it is best of luck to you Thanks. rear wing moving but he did bang in a really really quick last sector and as he said he's been sticking in some uh, some huge work on qualifier because he just wasn't uh, wasn't happy with the way it'd been going but some nice pictures there talking to max he was saying such big rivals over the years but just uh, clearly uh, exchanging notes on a difficult day for everyone would you have signed for that at the start of the day the start of the day, I would have signed for it. After FP3, I wouldn't have signed for it. After Q1, I would have begged for it. So uh, it kind of gives you an indication of how today's been. Yeah, well, I mean, picking up on that, you had some, some quite concerned words over Team Radio about just how, how narrow the window is for, the, for these tyres and maybe the conditions here highlighting that. It, it, how frustrating is it from, from a driver's perspective when it's like that? Um, I get into trouble with some of the words I've used recently, so, you know, the lap times speak for itself. We didn't change the car from practice three, and um, we believe that Lando was maybe two temps ahead of me, and I was four temps ahead of the next pack. So I was feeling pretty great, pretty confident that P2 should be the minimum, and if I do a great job, maybe I could fight with Lando. And then suddenly in Q1, I'm almost I'm on the verge of getting knocked out, and I don't really get it. Okay. Listen, tomorrow uh, Max, which is a bit of a surprise given how they were looking, is is on the front row alongside Lando. What, what what sort of race do you anticipate? Can you race with Max? Do you do you think you've got the, the, the pace in the in your race car to to contend with him? Yeah, absolutely. Lando's the one that if he gets into the lead after turn one, I think he'll be off into the distance. Um, but I think definitely the fight is is there against Max and obviously Lewis and I on the second row um, We've got the strategical advantage so All to play for is a long race um, And it's not over until the check of flag and I, 
I learned that pretty well last year, so we'll try and make it an extra half a lap this year. Good luck tomorrow.